So you probably noticed I haven't been on Facebook much lately. Um, I've actually felt the call to really step back um, and focus on my own personal healing journey. Um, and every time I step back onto Facebook, um, I, I witness um, just more and more um, division, separation within the truther um, community, within the light worker community. Um, you know, it's like there wasn't enough division already that, that more and more is being created. And, you know, this is what I see. Uh, we are here to heal. Um, this is what we are here to experience. It's this polarity um, so that we can eventually reach that point in our own journey that we actually get to choose to heal this and see it through a different set of lenses, if you like. I mean, we have so much separation and um, division, you know, being created as being manufactured by the mainstream media, by the governments, by the controllers, you know, that they are just must be laughing at what they are witnessing going on. You know, we need to start to recognize this behavior in ourselves. And because it is all triggers, OK, that is creating this level of separation between us. And this is the stuff we need to dive into. And this is the stuff that needs to get healed. Um, I just feel this is such an important message that's come through for me right now. Um, and that's why I really want to speak to it. And I've got to say, guys, we've really got to start recognizing it in ourselves. If something is coming up in your face and you're like, whoa, I'm triggered, then just take a step back, breathe into it. OK, that's interesting. Try to become the observer in any situation so that you can just take that mental step back. And if you can't resolve it, you know, if you're in a, perhaps a public situation where you're being triggered, just leave it and then, you know, make that kind of pact with yourself that you're going to kind of dive into that a little bit later on and think about how perhaps it might be better, you know, approached. Um, now, don't get me wrong. I understand why a lot of us feel the way we do about certain things that are happening in the world right now and that we see the people who are not just taking uh, medical interventions themselves but are also getting it for their children and as a mother um, I understand that trigger um, that we are witnessing and now we are seeing this news that uh, Another virus that was very um, publicised, shall we say, in the 90s. And I know you know the one I'm talking about, you know, where they had tombstones on the TV all the time. And we know that that now is a uh, an effect of this medical intervention. And so we can see very deeply um, what's going on. Um, and it hurts us when we see other people doing this to themselves and to their children. But we have to try and step back into a space of compassion. As hard as it is, as hard as it is, um, and I'm not trying to downplay this behaviour at all. I really need you to understand that. But we need to try to understand their point of view. And I think this is where it all gets so messed up. You know, I remember um, back when there was the whole Brexit remain, you know, thing going on. And it was all that build up in uh, 2016, wasn't it? When we were voting whether to stay or leave the EU. And there was so much hate and vitriol on both sides. Back then, I, I think a huge proportion of us didn't realise how much we were being played. Because whatever the outcome was of that, it actually was not going to make one bit of difference. Might, they'll make it look like it makes difference, but we know they're all playing the same side. It's like Democrat, Republican, Conservative, Labour. Um, you know, all these false constructs of division, they're all out there. And I remember actually on a Facebook post, I thought, you know what? I have my set of opinions. And you know what? We are all entitled to our opinions, but so is everybody else. 
Um, so why are we getting all upset about these different opinions? It, it just seems crazy. Instead, why don't we try and learn why that person holds that opinion rather than saying, rah, 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 this is my opinion. Oh, that's interesting. That's an interesting um, point of view. Why do you feel that way? Don't you think we'd achieve a much deeper understanding for each other? You might not agree. You may still think, oh, that's crazy, or I don't agree with that. However, you might have a slightly more um, feeling of empathy or understanding um, with why that person feels the way they do. And you might say, well, OK, fair enough. That's your opinion. Whatever, you know. Um, but it is crazy that the level of arguments that are going on, like, um, you know, even inside the true the community, I see it between globe earthers, flat earthers. At the end of the day, it's a prison planet. <laughs> you know, yes, I have my thoughts and my opinions on, on what we are observing. I have my thoughts and my opinions on the fact that we have been lied to on an epic scale and what shape of the earth is. I don't really know. I can't prove it to anyone to any great degree. However, you know, there are certain things that it's really fascinating. And we, you know, it's certainly um important that we all look at all different dimensions and all aspects of what these beliefs or what they've come from and if then that kind of makes you think oh actually I think there's something in that because I switched from one to the other you know simply because I decided to research it because I was pushing it away but you know we've got this going on across the board I was on Facebook this morning and there was a post about a certain type of light worker and you know oh those type of light workers I didn't really get into the argument I, I th they could have been talking about me for all I know I have no idea but I just thought this is so sad why are we creating more and more separation when I think ultimately everybody wants the same thing um, even if they don't realize it you know um, we want if we're parents we want our children to grow up in a world that's free, that's abundant, that's, um, you know, that, uh, beautiful, that's that's a, got everything that they will need to live a fulfilled life. And we want that for ourselves as well. And whatever side of any argument you're coming from, I think ultimately that's what people are wanting for themselves and for their families. So at some point we have to, so why does this upset me so much? Why does that opinion really rile me? You know, and I've been guilty of it myself. Don't get me wrong. I'm no flipping, you know, martyr here. I'm not. Um, <laughs> I'm certainly far from perfect. It's just really my own observation on my own healing journey. And this observation of healing, this separation actually right now seems to be the most important thing more than opinions okay i actually think this is the most important thing doesn't mean you have to do anything that you goes against your grain but we can find ways to live together in a way that we can help heal each other you know one of the reasons i've really gone down this health path is because i want to help people heal whether they've you know taken the medical intervention I want to find ways to help them survive that and live through that that's really important to me because we need to survive as a human race and we need the numbers and whatever's coming we have to really pull together you know there's a lot of speculation about what's up next <laughs> um, as we seem to be moving through one narrative um, you know we need humanity back we need that unity with each other you know these these false constructs of even religion um or um you know these false constructs that that race is is creating division because actually we're all human beings we're all part of the human race um and i know a lot of it is perpetuated through the media and a lot of us actually can see that now and we can rise above it but there's a lot of people who cannot see past that um i know many of us have come to this point of acceptance that certain people are going to take a certain path and that's the whole point we are here 
to live our lives and we are going to be presented with the um, circumstances, experiences that are going to help us to grow personally. And that's going to be completely different to somebody else. And perhaps we need to respect that they have to take a completely different path to perhaps find these truths out for themselves. And that might mean they're going to form all these different opinions and, you know, there's going to be this illusion of division. But for those of us who are actually beginning to see the bigger picture of all this now, you know, we've got to just try and really not convince people of what's going on, but to actually give them the space to figure it out for themselves because it's their path. It's their own divine pathway through life maybe they will never figure it out but perhaps that's also their divine pathway through life I know I've rambled on a bit I really hope <laughs> this made some sense to you and I really hope actually it brings you a bit of peace um, and a little bit of insight into perhaps the healing journey we should be looking at not that I say anybody should be doing anything but you know these triggers that we get from other people's opinions and lifestyle choices etc are there to be healed and whatever way you decide to do that is entirely up to you but bringing awareness around those triggers and actually being able to step back and saying oh wow why does this bother me so much and actually saying, well, I, I know why it bothers me, but can I bring compassion into this situation so that we can learn to heal together? Anyway, that's all from me. I've still got my shower bun in. I just wanted to hop on <laughs> and share that with you. Um, I love you. Um, have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend. And uh, I hope to do some more of these in the near future. Take care. Bye.